Vikpeach. Shivaya Namaha Shivaya Namaha Shivaya Namaha Om Yo Brahmanam Vidadhati Purvam Yo Vai Veda Shcha Prajino Titasmai Tamhadeva Matma Buddhi Prakasham Mumukshur Vai Sharanamaham Prabhatye Om Shanti 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 Om Namo Brahmadipyo Brahma Vidya Sampradaya Kartribyo Om Shri Shibyo Mahatyo Namo Gurubhya Sarvo Paplamarahita Prajnana Kanaha Pratyagartho Brahmaiva Hamasmi Brahmaiva Hamasmi Vedantarth Vibhasakaya Gurave Shantaya Sanyasine Nanavadi Naghet Sankapavaye Yogi Nravandhyaya Cha Mohadvan Padivakaraya Bhagavad Pada Vidham Vibhrate Tasmai Bhashikate Namost Sapakam Purnaya Bodhatmane Sarvatantra Svatantraya Sadatma Dvaita Vedine Shrimate Shankarariyaya Vedanta Gurave Namaha Yovatir Nagihacharya Rupen Yati Namude Shrimanarayana Vande Tamharim Karuna Didim Mananakyam Prakaranam Vasudeva Yatishwarai Rachitam Vistare Nathya Sangrahena Prakashyate Balana Mupakaraya Mama Vijnana Siddhaye Tatra Shri Bala Gopala Krishna Sandhito Pave Om So now, by giving the example of Manikya Ratna, he made it clear that this Manikya, though is a Shila, some sort of a stone, yet it is called as Ratna Deepa. Huh? Because it is shiny, that's why it is called as Ratna Deepa. Prakasha Yukta Tvena Ratna Deepa Miti Pyavahari Yate. You know na, that uh, there, there is this lesion about the diamond in Meenakshi's nose. Uh, the, I mean, not Meenakshi, or Kanyakumari. Uh, that, that diamond used to shine so, so much that the ships in the sea in, in Kanyakumari over there they used to decide the direction at night by looking at that light coming from her nose ring. So it is a diamond, it is a stone, but it is shiny. And that's why it is called as Ratna Deepam. What is Manikya called? Ratna Deepam. Shila Rupam. So also this Vritti he is now called as Vritti Jnanam Mano Vritti Rupa Tvayapi. What is it? It is a modification of mind. Mind by itself is Jadavastu. So it is a modification of mind. Modification means mind presented in a different form. That's it. Okay. So it is a modification of the mind. Mano Vritti Rupa Tvayapi. Swa Pravishta. Swa Pravishta means Vritti Pravishtasya Swarupa Jnana Yuktatva because that Swarupa Jnana is now Vritti Pravishta as a Vritti Pravishta. Jnanam iti Vyavaharaha it is called as Jnanam iti Vyavaharaha what kind of Vyavahara is it? Gauna Vyavahara because this is the Guna. Now when there is Ghatakara Vritti you will know ghata. So ghata becomes illumined for you. And therefore, so 
So the vritti is also called as jnanam. You saw that. So over here, na karmeti vyavaharaha. Because there, the Purva Paksha would have addressed, sir, you yourself are saying that there is jnana dvaividhyam. One is Swarupa jnanam and the other one is vritti jnanam. So what is what is wrong in saying that jnanam, there are two types of knowledges? No, sir. Knowledge means consciousness, illumination, and that is only one, and it is Atma. But this light of consciousness, now reflected consciousness, reflected in this vritti, it illumines even the ghatapatadi sakala, Padarthas. But when will it illumine Ghatapatadi Sakala Padarthas? Only when it is on those Ghatapatadi Vritti. Okay, Unni Tika Nayata. Are you there with on, on this point? Uh, yes, then, oh, good. And that is the reason why Na Karmeti Vyavahara. Why are we using the word Vritti Jnanam for over there? And what kind of uh, Vyavahara is this by calling that Vritti as Jnanam, Vritti Jnanam? It is a Gauna Vyavahara. Okay, it is a Gauna Vyavahara because of the Guna, because of its quality. Okay, Manu? Like how, like the Manikya. Manikya is a Sheila, but it is, nobody calls it stone. Na? So when they have riots in the road and pelting stones, nobody is pelting. They <laughs> Manikya there. Na? Remove one Manikya from your ring and make up throw it. It will be wonderful if people start doing it. You will be the first to go catch it. Na? No more, throw no more. Vyavaharo is Gauna Vyavahara. So, Ratna Deepam, it is not a Deepa, but it is just because it is shiny, it is called as Ratna Deepam. Achha. Now comes a new topic. And the topic is that Swarupa Jnana is not Ajnana Virodhi. Why is it not Ajnana Virodhi? Because Virodhi means that it, it should be able to destroy the Ajnana, correct? It should be able to destroy. Virodha is there. Virodha means of adversary. You, if I come out there, how can you stand? I, I will pulp you out. Uh, then this jnanam, Swarupa jnanam, is no one's adversary. It is not Virodha. It does not have Virodha even with a jnanam. Why? Because it illumines a jnanam as well. Just as Jagrat and Jagrat Padarthas are illumined by the consciousness, just as the Swapna and the Swapnik Padarthas are also illumined by this consciousness, so also Sushupti and absence of all the Jagrat Swapna Padarthas is illumined by the consciousness. So consciousness does not cancel the Sushupti or Ajnana. Yeah, so how is it? There is Virodha Bhav. Abhav is there. It does not have any Virodha. So now the question is Nanu Sushupta Swarupa Jnana Sya Jnana Prakash Kapvena Virodha Bhavaha. Why is he saying that there is Virodha Bhav? Because whose Virodha Bhav? With whom? Swarupa Jnana Sya. Ajnane na saha virodha bhava. Got it? Is that sentence uh, all arranged for you? Just give me a minute, okay? okay one second. Huh? I'll be back with you for a, within a minute. So much of it is gone. So it is prapt. So, so he, 
he said, what is what is the most difficult? And I said, it's a you to tell what is the most difficult Purusharata. So Swami, he was a he was a grahastha before Arminoti. And he said, so, so, so the most difficult Purusharata is the Kama Purusharata. The rest of it is all okay. Now I told him, then Swamiji, if moksha is your swarupa, it, it is not that swarupa that we need. What do we need? What is ishta? Brahmagara Vritti is ishta. Got it? We need that. So, anyways. So you are saying, Swamiji, that we have to constantly do Brahmakara Vritti. Jo Agnana Kar Vritti Aati Hai, Usko Counter Karne Ke Liye Relevant Brahmakara Vritti Karna Hai. Correct. Now you see, okay. Aham Asmi is your constant Vritti or not. Now, even in as simple as Ghatosti, what is the pre-requirement even for you to know the ghatta? What is the prerequisite? Uh, there should be light and uh, eyes. No, nah, you should be there. Uh -huh. <laughs> what is the prerequisite? You should be there. So, ahamasmi is the prerequisite. Now, this aham is 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 anusyuta, is present in every experience, present, unpleasant, good, bad, jagrat, swapna, sushupti. Now, aham is there, but how is this aham seen as karta, bhukta, parichinna? Isn't it? And therefore, as long as this aham is seen as karta, bhukta, and parichinna, till then, Naham karta, naham bhokta, aham, naham parichinaha, this negation has to be done. Okay? Aham brahmaiti, aham brahmaiti. Aham asmi. I am. But there is no definition attached to this I. And not only no definition is attached, even the Ajnanam is also not there. Ajnana Karyam, definition is Ajnana Karyam. That in Samadhi also, Ahamasmi is there, but there is no definition. But you wake up from the Samadhi, if the ignorance is not destroyed by knowledge, you come from Samadhi, there will be a lot of peace, there will be Shanti. But Ajnanam will be there, and this Ajnanam is the mother of, of all the Ashanti, so that Shanti will be destroyed once again. That's why one can be a Yoga Siddha, Samadhi Siddha also. But Samadhi is not going to destroy ignorance. Samadhi can do Shanti. There, but the beach of Ashanti, which is Ajnanam, will always be there. Can you see? So a yogi is going to be extremely peaceful. In his life also, you are going to see all the Lakshanas of a Jeevan. But what is missing is that the Ajnana is not destroyed. As long as one does not know that this Atma is Brahman and the entire age of Drishya is nothing but only an appearance in this consciousness, till then the Ajnana is there and that Ajnana is the root cause of all the Ashanti. And therefore, for this, he may, because of his solid uh, practice of Samadhi Abhyasa, he will say that this Atma, I am the illuminator of mind and of all the senses and buddhi. 
and I am not even this ego. He, this is his experience. But this I is the illuminator of this buddhi, this mind and this body. The I in your body is going to be the illuminator and that's why this I is seen as parichinna by him. He may not see this I, this aham, that atma, as karta and bhukta, but he will, that parichinna will be seen by him. And so, therefore, even in Yoga Darshanam, there is the Purusha. He is a Chichatti. How is he? He is also seen as Chid. But that just being Chid, how is he? One per head. And therefore, whether it is Sankhya or Yoga, what is there is Purusha Bahulya. Bahulya means? Many. Multitude. Anegatvam. Huh? What? Anegatvam. 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 Bahulyam means anegatvam. That's why the Purusha for them is just as I am the witness of my body, mind and this about speech, you are the witness over there. So I have realized like that. You also realize and be free. This is Yoga Darshanam. But how is this Purusha? Not one per head. He is one. And all the heads are only Kalpita in this. So that's why when you want to know Brahma, hmm, it is Aupanishadam Brahma. And so in Upanishad, there is this Vakyam also. Tam Aupanishadam Purusham Prichami. I want to know that Purusha as shown by as shown by whom? Yoga Darshan or Upanishad? Upanishad. Upanishad. Tam Aupanishadam Purusham Prichami. Aupanishadam Brahma. Okay. Therefore, you can go into Samadhi and there will be immense peace. Even such a person, because he is so peaceful, you know, around him also there will be peace. So a person who is peace at peace within, outside also there is no, no what do they call conflict around him. And he is acceptable, accepting of all. And therefore, with such a person, there is going to be, naturally, you are going to feel the peace around him. Okay. So some samadhi siddha is going to be that peaceful. But with him, there is going to be the ignorance is still there. But, the, you know, if he is such a yogi and he has the knowledge also, now it becomes, he becomes Jeevan like Ramana Maharishi. And that's why people will flock around him. People did not go for knowledge. People felt very peaceful. Shanti. There was a lot of Shanti. So the people went to him for that. Okay. So, uh, now, is going, now there is going to be another topic. Vritti jnana ajyana tat karya nashe. Vritti hai tat pravishtas pravishta jnana syati vidyamana vat katham advaita vasityet. Now, what will happen is that ajnana is destroyed by this vritti lit by the lit by the light of consciousness. Ajnana is destroyed. 
But what remains now? Vritti and the consciousness remains or not? And therefore, how are you going to prove Advaita when Advaita is going to remain? You understand what the problem is? Unne. So how can there be Advaitam? Advaitam katham siddhye iti chet. If this is your question, katak rajo nyayena vritti jnanam apyajnanam tat karyam chat nivartya svam api svayam eva nivartaye. Now he gives you an example first so that you are prepared to understand the Siddhartha. Kataka Rajo Nyaya. In the olden days, there was a way to filter the water. You must have heard those who have done this, Atma Bodha and all, who have heard. Well, are you people have heard of Atma Bodha? Na? Uh, yeah. But we have not finished it. We have just started it. Oh, you just started it. Okay, then listen to this. Katakara So, there are some seeds. They are called as the Kataka seeds. Okay. Pucha Gurudev Swami Chinmanamji says that it is alum. But it does the same thing. Alum powder also does the same thing. Which the Kataka seeds do. What it does is that it creates a when you or rainy days when you go to the river and bring the water, the water is going to be muddy. Muddy, muddy. Ah, it will muddy. have this uh, suspended particles of soil in it. And that is not good for drinking. So how would they remove that is that these kataka seeds are brought. I don't know what kataka seeds are called in English and in any other Indian languages. So I've learned it here. Only. So that Kataka seeds are brought, they are pounded and made into powder, and some powder is then dropped on that, in that water. The film, film uh, uh, is formed on the surface of the water. Now the density of this film becomes heavier than the water, and therefore it starts sinking inside. Sinking down. And along with it, it takes all the suspended particles to the bottom. Then from that, you take the clean water. And what do you do with the, uh, the soil at the bottom? Right. So please keep it because it is from Ganga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy soil. <laughs> or you keep that no 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 it is mixed with kataka so it is very nice keep it no you throw the, both of them away both are disposed away correct like that the kataka takes away the uh, dirt and uh, but it, uh, no, the dirt is also gone kataka this thing film is also gone like that, Katakarajo Nyayena, Vritti Jnanam. Now, Vritti Jnanam is Ajnana Virodhi. So, it has destroyed Ajnana. Tat Karyam Chanivartya. Now, till what? Now, this Vritti Jnanam takes away the Ajnana as well as its Karyam. Swamapi, Swayameva Nivartya. Now, it goes away by itself. So, you don't worry. Oh, till when do we have to? When do we have to do this Brahma uh, uh, It will take care of itself. Do it as long as you, you feel that I have to do it. Because that means the doer is present. When the doership is gone, it's resolved. Now where is the doing? The question becomes irrelevant. How long I should do Brahma Okay. And that's why the thing is, yours is to do and die. die. Not to ask how and why. <laughs> so, 
स्वमति स्वयमेव निवर्त वृत्ति नाशे सती वृत्त ना इवन द वृत्ति विल आल्सो गो अवे सो देन यू हैव क्वेश्चन इज गोइंग टू बी व्हाट हैपेंस टू द प्रतिबिंबित प्रतिबिंबित प्रकाश व्हाट हैपेंस टू दैट चित प्रकाश व्हाट हैपेंस टू दैट लाइट ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस व्हिच इज रिफ्लेक्टेड इन द वृत्ति वृत्ति नाशे सती प्रतिबिंबित ज्ञानम अपि बिंबभूत स्वरूप स्वरूप ज्ञान एवाधिगछति स्वरूपली Shines avashishate the things behind. All right. Om Purnam Gaha Purnam Idam Purna Purnam Dachate Purna Se Purnam Adaya Purnam Eva Avashishate Om Shanti 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 Shankaram Shankarajani Shamam Badarayanam Sutra Bhashita Vande Vagavanta. प्रणाम स्वामी जी हरिओम प्रणाम स्वामी जी हरिओम भानु टुमोरो